Hey everyone, this is Melvin from CO2Utility.com and I want to do another tutorial for the Black Ops 3 mapping and modding tutorials uh, series that I'm doing. Um, this will be the fifth one in the series and uh, last time we left you off we had basically spent about an hour in the tutorials um, learning this, you know, the primitives, uh, brushes, patches, uh, how to manipulate things, weld verts, you know, simple things you need to make a map. And so now that you've gone through that stuff, if you waded through the water, I think, you know, we'll get more into things now as the next ones come up and so for this one here right now what we're going to do is what i've taken the liberty of doing is going ahead and, and building a little bit more into the map or into the area and then i'm going to explain to you because you guys are obviously know how to move brushes and patches around you can do the same thing yourselves you can pause the video build it up to where it is now and then continue with me or you can you know go through the movie or the video pause it piece by piece and, and fill it in or whatever but um yeah, I mean, when we're gonna, what we're going to do in this video here is we're going to talk about ex how we've extended the building and, and what needs to go on to it. Uh, finishing the structural building as in structural parts of the building. Why is it, uh, you know, why does it look so plain? You know, why is that what's needed to make a good map or whatever? Um, and then um, more patches and primitives and building detail. Uh, more, uh, I should say, patch primitives. We're just going to cover one to show you guys uh, another way of, of detailing maps. And then uh, we're also going to... Um, uh, use some models, I think. So, you know, without any waste of time, we're a minute and a half into this. I'd like to get this under 10 minutes, so let's uh, get right to it. Okay, so first off, you see here in the scene that I have added a bunch of stuff to it. Um, if I come up here and look from the top down, uh, you can see here that I've got a bit of uh, brushwork laid out so that there's, in a sense, a little bit of a scene going on. And yes, the telephone pole is a little bit far out, but that, that can be worked in or moved or whatever. And again, this is all... Uh, uh, subjective, I should say. Okay, so what we're going to do first off, we're going to look at the uh, we're going to look at the models. So when I want to grab a model here, I've I've done a preemptive search here, and, and I've got here corner, and this is a uh, corner block damage zero one uh, sixty four. And we're going to grab this model here, and we're just going to push it or pull it right to the corner of the building. And we're going to hit the R key, making sure we're on the fork or hit the fork key first. We're going to rotate it um, so that it uh, fits, and we're just going to put that into the wall. I hit the two key, uh, you know, fit it to use the two or the one uh, grid to um, to fit the model into place wherever you think it fits, you know, one unit out, two units out, but you want it to protrude a little bit. You definitely don't want to make a flush because the, the that protrusion is what uh, gives you that sense of uh, detail. Um, casting shadows and, and light, lights everywhere. So we're going to hit this one and we go control C, control V, hit the four key and then uh, bring that up. Again, this is control C, control V. Oh, I didn't control, I didn't copy. Control Z, Control V. Let's go down there. Okay, grab this one here and then we'll, is that right at the bottom? Yeah, that's at the bottom. So we're gonna grab this one and grab this one here. Hit Control C, Control V, and we're, again, we're gonna drag that up to the top. Okay, now we have this side of the building done. We're just gonna go and throw this onto the side over here. Um, control C, Control V. I have to keep having to look around the microphone. Um, and so for this one here, we're gonna go down and do the uh, top down view. This makes it easier. I'm gonna hit the R key and we're gonna rotate it to you know a couple couple clicks, and this should be pretty much in the wall. And if you hit the J key, that will remove the wireframe. And I'm probably bouncing all over this mic. Um, if you hit the excuse me, if you hit the J key and uh, a, uh, sorry the J key, yeah, that will hide the wireframe. And you can actually take this here. Maybe remember to move the uh, rotate, and then in the 2D grid, or in the 2 grid, sorry. Um, suck it down so it's back, uh, push it back till it's, it's just showing a little bit. Now again, there's some corners, and I know you've seen some great patches uh, bouncing around, but we'll get back into that, or I'll clean that up myself in a little bit. Okay, um, so for now, I'm going to uh, unhide here the uh, models, because I have took the t liberty of putting them in here. Actually, there's one here that needs a little bit of fixing. As you can see here, this one here was set up so that you had something that was a little bit uh, in reverse. Um, it's, it's it really is roughly the same thing. Um, pull it out just a little bit. No, let's put that back. Okay, so that's good enough for now. We can put a brush behind that to show a little more gray. Um, obviously, this needs framework. It needs uh, for the windows. It needs a bunch of stuff up here. But you get the point. You can start detailing this, and you can start doing a lot of things to it. So if you go here and you type pipes or pipe, I should say, you should be able to see a bunch of pipes will pop up. Take a second, um, and you'll see a uh, pipe here, right? So as you can see here, this is just a simple pipe. You can use a lot of these in, in combination. There's a whole bunch of different ones. 
I think there's ones that are like black and all this kind of stuff in here. But basically what you can do is you can... Uh, I'm trying to get... Ooh, a pipe that will work. Okay, that will work. Okay, so... Uh, on the four, always rotating on the four. the models you can find a straight pipe here okay so with this one here we're gonna take this put this down like so I'm gonna take oops I'm gonna take this one here hit the J so you can see a wireframe you know if it's selected or not let's bring that over bring our camera around hit the one key for uh, the one grid and move that into place you see that's I think right against the wall so you can see you can get uh, some detail coming in pretty good. And you, lots of different shapes, lots of different things. It starts to come, really come together. Okay, so what else do we have here? Um, yeah, I can't remember now. Uh, let's see here. We had uh, finishing structural building. Oh, yeah, we want to talk about uh, structural. Okay, so why is this, uh, why is this in a sense? This is finished structurally, without doubt, really. Um, whatever spaces you're going to move through, they can be open. Whatever spaces are going to block off other people and other things, those need to be open. So this here um, is all you really need for a structural building. Everything after this can be detail. And again, it just makes it simpler in calculations. The computer takes less compile time, does a whole bunch of good things in a sense to help raise frame rate. So that, uh, and if you want to understand BSP, just look at binary space partition or BSP. That will explain it a lot better than I can. But I can also put up a write up on Sudo if you guys are really interested. Um, but what what comes down to um, what it comes down to this uh, this allows you to do things so that when all of these models here are selected, um, you know, and uh, what do you call it? And when you basically and when they're turned into detail, this is all that's going to be uh, registered. You know, these simple brushes. That's it. So everything again, you can. This allows you to have way more detail and do a whole bunch of different stuff that you might not ever have thought of doing. Um, and allow you to go past the limitations you would have had without it. So, okay, so um, what else is there? There's not much to it. I think we're going to start to get into more patch primitives and buildings. Oh, yeah, that's the last one. Okay, for now, we're going to show you this one here because this is kind of cool. I like this. You can take this, you know, a brush, any brush. It's like, just like the door frame. I grabbed a brush here and moved it one unit off of the wall. I think it's one unit thick, three, four units high. Let's see here in a second here. Okay, so this is eight by two, sorry. So I'm going to drag this out till it's 8x8, eight eight, and then I'm just going to go up to here to go patch. I'm going to go to primitives, and I'm going to hit end cap. And you see how that kind of, you know, pointed in the wrong direction? So I'm going to hit R. I'm going to make sure I'm in the 4. And I'm just rotate that, okay? And then I'm going to go back to the 1, and I'm come outside of, or outside of it, make sure I'm off of rotate, and just drag it back until it gets to right about there. I'm going to hit shift, right bracket to smooth it out. I'm going to bring it just a little bit back, a little bit farther. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to actually hit tilde key. Zoom in real close. I'm going to bring that right out. There. Oh, no. One more. I'm going to go one more back in because the whole idea is basically to not have it shoot through the brick. So you can see there. Now this here can be textures with the uh, concrete we weather texture or something that matches this. There's probably one that matches that without a doubt. As you can see now, you've got a nice rounded texture that's coming out. Now, that's not ideal for a building, maybe, or not ideal for what you want, but in different circumstances, that will work really well. I will, um, for now, I'm going to end this tutorial here because it's nine minutes. I'm going to say, uh, in the next tutorial, we will build a lamp. Okay, I'll, br I'll bring in here and I'll build the lamp that I built before. It'll probably take about 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes, somewhere in there. At least the basic shape of it getting you started, and then you guys will understand. Uh, at least um, when it comes down to manipulating brushes, when it comes to um, manipulating brushes and shaping them. Uh, other than that, I think you guys are good for now. Um, and this gives you a little more to work with and hopefully you will understand a little more about detailing uh, we can get into other things you have questions let me know at the bottom we have a tutorial coming up for importing textures and we'll have an import, a tutorial coming up for um, uh, I forget what it was now but yeah so I'm getting requests now so when people you guys got some requests go to cotoutility.com um, register for the forums if you haven't already go in the form section it's just a brand new section for Black Ops 3 uh, post your questions in there and I'll uh, do my best to answer them if you answer them in the in the uh, in the comment section below, I most likely will be adding the answers to uh, the uh, to the tutorial section or to a comment section of CDU or CDUutility.com because it's just easier for the other people that have the same question to go there, find it, and get the answer. 
Okay, again, the section has just been put up. There's not really much in there, but uh, we'll fill it in next time. Or we'll fill it in the next little while. Okay, till next time. Till next tutorial will be number six, which I guess will be either building a lamp or, well, we'll figure it out. Okay, till then, have a good one. Love you guys. Peace. Oh, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe. Okay, later. Peace.